Well, it was a beautiful weekend, but definitely a very busy one as far as weather is concerned in Oklahoma, where they saw an EF2 tornado push through about a half mile wide and 20,000 feet high. Now, in the Concho Valley, everything was pretty warm in those triple digits, and that's where we're about around here in the Concho Valley, dropping from that 101 down into those lower 70s. Then we made a good 25 degree run up into those upper 90s and we're hovering back and forth in that mark right now as we make our way in towards the evening. Now, looking at those conditions across the entire Concho Valley as we hold on to some of that humidity, 97 here in San Angelo, everybody else in a combination of lower 90s. Of course, Brady holding on to that, those 80s, pretty comfortable down there right now. Everybody's hanging out in those shades of red, if not those pinks across the entire region. About three degrees, if not Mertz's want to be going to be one of those cooler spots right now, but that's still what we want for those unstable conditions with a lot of that humidity making its way in from the south west but nothing severe going to be making its way in around tomorrow night we're looking like a good opportunity for some light thunderstorm activity but it's going to be pretty quick dew points are down at those 50s and those 60s while the humidity indices are on those 20s and those 30s holding on to a few 40s off towards the east again looking for the dry line really around the edwards plateau as we make our way into this evening don't think we're going to see any of that thunderstorm activity but the upper level pattern showing us where a lot of that southwesterly flow is going to continue to push in around the region the severe weather outlooks really targeting parts of wyoming nebraska south dakota as they're in for one heck of a long day but we're going to hold on to that southwesterly flow as we continue to see rounds of low pressure really hover around Montana and Idaho while we see mostly zonal flow across the entire south. Finally, some calmer conditions again after a pretty severe weekend of weather. Now for that Memorial Day looking pretty pleasant as we continue to hold on to those triple digits. Here's where we're going to see that long stove pipe of severe weather really just make its way all the way down across East Texas and then again go around the Concho Valley where we're only going to see a few light thunderstorms before we jump back up into those lower 100s. Here's the satellite right now as we're seeing a lot of those severe weather watches being issued for parts of Wyoming and Nebraska again around Michigan as well and some parts of Missouri but we're watching that light cloud cover push in this afternoon as we could see this could be the low pressure system that could push in some of those late Tuesday night thunderstorms as we make our way into this pretty pleasant week really the fourth week of May right now you can see as the dry line is really just kind of pushing off towards the east with that cloud cover making its way in. Here's the future cast as we make it our way through the rest of the evening, seeing some of that light cloud cover push off. And then by Tuesday morning, going to see another misty morning before things burn off by the middle of the day before we push up into those lower 90s, if not those triple digits. But as the evening rolls around, we're going to see some light thunderstorm and pop up around Eden Menard and then take aim at Ballinger as it pushes through the area. One more good one before we make our way into Wednesday morning, where we'll see the return of some of that light cloud cover before things burn off. So tonight we're going to drop back down into those 70s while we hold on to that southwesterly flow, keeping things pretty humid. And tomorrow going to be the exact same case as we're shaping up for a beautiful Memorial Day weekend with those winds still pretty much out of the southwest, about 10 to 15, if not 20 miles per hour. And that's where we're going to stay again Tuesday, Wednesday, looking like a good opportunity for some light rain shower activity before we pop back up into those triple digits for that weekend. Make sure you got some good plans and some good sunscreen because it's looking pretty hot as we hold on to those triple digits all the way into Memorial Day weekend while those lows are following the same pattern between those 70s and those 60s. Stay tuned for more of the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.